something you can't explain to people. Uh, you got the smell, you got the sound, you see a lot more. I think it's doing something together. You get out there and you just kind of forget about a lot of concerns. You're out there in the wind and maybe you're just so focused on what you're doing. It leaves all the worries behind. I am Joe A. Paul, and they call me Grandpa Joe. I'm Carolyn A. Paul, Joe's wife. Uh, well, my dad had a gas station on this corner for 48 years, so we've been on this corner for just about 100 years. And uh, then I bought him out, and I always bought and sold motorcycles. And my wife said, why don't we just ride Harley Davidson? And I said, oh, I don't know, we really don't have a whole lot of money. I had a wife and two kids in September of 1973, so that was the first ones we sold. Growing up in the business, um, it was a, probably a dream of every little kid to have motorcycles all the time. always had bikes to ride, and I was a little shop rat. All I did was watch the technicians work and probably drove them crazy, um, you know, just looking over their shoulders. And um, But it was always something I dreamed you know, I knew what I was going to do when I was a little teenager. Lonnie's the oldest and then Tammy and Tammy's a bookkeeper here. And uh, it's just a wonderful feeling. And passing the torch, you know, taking over the business was a, a big deal. It was a big deal. And, it, and it's a wonderful thing when, when your son or daughter takes over a business and you can still be a part of the business and we're such a close-knit family. I couldn't ask for a better person than to have John. I walked up to him and I said, uh, are you interested in working for me? I said, uh, I, and I remember that as if it was yesterday. It's so prevalent. He said, yeah, I'll work for you. And he's been here ever since. Probably the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my career was uh, being instrumental in starting the Alex store. We started out small and worked up bigger and bigger and bigger and then 15 years ago they came here, Harley Davidson did, and they wanted to uh, us expand to Alexandria. That was one of the best things we did, could have done, because we really doubled our business. We got customers that we never had before. And it's been a wonderful venture. Lonnie and his family moved up there. Hi, I'm Trevor A. Paul. I'm Lonnie A. Paul. I'm Robin A. Paul, the boss. And I'm Amber Buyer, once an A. Paul. We try to bring from Raymond the small town atmosphere up here too, because you know it's just not another business that we have so many people around us that we can um, depend on that. We have to care and appreciate every customer we have, and we try to do that the best we can. So lucky that my family was is able to take this business over. I love Harley Davidson and I love the company and I love the bikes and I love our customers most of all. Really appreciate what they have done for A Balls. Back in 73 I bought my first bike from Joe, a 73 Super Glide. And over the last 50 years I think I've bought probably 13 or 14 bikes. The dealership is pretty special. I remember the old days when it was a gas station and a little store, a few pieces of chrome on the wall, and uh, Joe stuck with it. It's been fun. Every time I bought a bike and did some customizing, Joe would say, okay, Gary, we can do anything you want. It just costs a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> we, we differentiate ourselves because we're enthusiasts, number one and um, it's not just a business that we own. It's something that we really truly love and do with our customers. The Hog Chapter, it's a riding club that Harley started in 1983. It's Harley Owners Group. It's just people just wanna be part of something and you know, it gives them a reason to own the bike, gives them a reason to ride the bike. And I've talked to people that are part of the club that said, you know, this has changed my life. This is, this is a good thing. We enjoy the people. There's friends that I have that I would never had without the, um, the association with the motorcycle clubs that we have. We like being with the customers. That's our peer group and um, 
so we grew up good friends. They're yeah. our family. That's where you ride, right, Mom? <laughs> yep. All your biker, biker chicks. chicks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've had yep. lots of good memories and just continue to inspire more and more women to ride. So yeah. it's great. Knowing what this store can hold, and I love nothing more than my grandpa and my dad, and want nothing more than for this to succeed for generations to come. It's super exciting just growing up in this and helping both my dad and my grandpa and my next generation of my son is here working alongside us right now. It's so fun to watch him being taught how to drive forklift, wash motorcycles, and now even um, taking bikes apart. So it's been really fun to see the love from each generation into this business and the love and enjoyment that they give to the people that come in here. I'm very excited for um, our kids, my sisters and I, um, to grow up and ride, gain the urge of riding motorcycle. I work alongside my grandpa and my dad and now my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy right now, I'm sorry. But with the grandchildren too. So, so yeah, this is something really special and to see it go multi-generational is incredible.